So the concept of a throw is pretty simple. Wide to narrow to wide. And that movement starts with the pelvis, then the upper body, and then we release the throw. What we're also doing as well is we're creating, storing or increasing power through that downswing as a result of the wrist moving backwards before we suddenly snap the, the throw. Now the same is true in the golf swing and we use the kinematic graph to help us to understand the sequence that a player is moving their body in. And quite often in the golf swing what we see is an excessive amount of casting of the arm on the downswing. Now the result of that is often the case whereby the backswing is too narrow with the wrist achieving 100% wrist hinge at the top. And this position inhibits our ability to increase our wrist hinge since we've already got maximum wrist hinge at the top. So often a way to improve the sequential motion of the kinematic sequence we look towards creating more width on the backswing and a partial hinge of the wrist at the top. And in doing so, this enables us then to increase the hinge, pull the arms in, and allow our body to move in the direction of the target. If you compare that to a swing where it's very narrow, the only way we can go effectively is outwards. And as a result of that, the energy moving in this direction restricts our ability to move our pelvis and our upper body towards the target. So we get into a situation where we hang back. This results in very weak shots as well and our ability to transfer power in a dynamic way. So in order to have an efficient kinematic sequence on the downswing, it's necessary for the arms to come into our body. To do that, the trail arm has to go more into flexion the wrists also have to go more into flexion in order for our body to rotate faster. Similar to that of a figure skater, when you watch them spin fast, they tuck their arms in and to slow down, they push their arms out. So the casting effect of the arms will slow our rotational speed down and also force our body to move away from the target, creating again the hang back. So by using the ghosting, tool on KVEST, I'm able to practice and observe if I'm going into a nice wide, narrow, wide motion similar to that of a throwing action. This also enables me to get a nice forward shaft lean, flat left wrist and really observe the energy moving efficiently into the golf shot.